Hello everybody, it's 123 Stealth Bomber here bringing you a nod tutorial for Men of War Assault Squad 2. And today, we are not going to be covering uh, the gem editor. We are actually going to be covering something, something that you all have been waiting for. Well, most of you, that is. And that is how to make your multiplayer map available, well, the maps you make in the editor available for multiplayer. So uh, you and your friends can play it. Uh, so, this is quite a lengthy process, um, as you can see in terms of the video, so please watch the video again, uh, rewind parts, ask any questions if you are confused on any part of the video, and I'll try to answer with my best of my ability. So, before we start, um, the way we have to do this is by making a mod, and... Um, so yeah, you guys will be making your first mod. Some of you may have made made mods before, so if you have, then you already know what I'm going to be doing. Um, for most of you that have not, then this will be a great way for to get into the modding community of Men of War. And uh, we're going to do something extremely simple. All we're doing is just taking a map from the editor and making it available for the in-game itself, um, which is really easy. Some parts are going to get confusing, so make sure you watch parts again. Um, again, ask me questions. Uh, Rewatch parts if you need to. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. So, as you can see, I am on, on my desktop here. So, you do not need to be in the editor whatsoever. We do not need to be in the editor. So, if you are in the editor, you can just exit out of that. Uh, we need to actually look and search for our file locations for the game itself because we have to make the mod in there so let's go ahead and do that okay so first we're gonna need to go to our uh, Windows Explorer uh, you're gonna open up that now go to your main hard drive or uh, anywhere it's located and look for the program files 86 you don't want to do program files you want to do program files 86 so open up that folder you're going to scroll down until you find um, Steam. So open up that folder. Next, what you're going to do is scroll down again until you see Steam Apps and open up that one. Make sure you do not open Steam, but Steam Apps. Now, next, it should be right in the top, which is common. Open up that folder. And now we are finally located, and this is a list of all the games that are shown and uh, tools that are shown in uh, your Steam library. So you can see I have a, a decent list of games and tools for my Steam. So this is where everything is located in terms of Steam-wise. So if you need to like uh, install mods to certain games and stuff, this is where you would go for that. So now what you're going to do is um, open up the file location for the game that you're going to be using. In my case, I'm going to be using Metal War Assault Squad 2. Um, if you are using another Metal War, you can still follow along because it's exactly the same setup. Okay, so um, now I'm in Metal War Assault Squad 2. Uh, the first thing, this is the main file location for the game to work correctly. This is everything in the files. Obviously there's these um, there's pack files and then there's these folders that contain tons and tons of information to make the game work properly. So um, what we're going to be focusing is on obviously a mod. So you'll notice the third folder in is the mods folder. If you do not have a mods folder you can just simply create it by hitting new folder and then naming it to mods the way I have it here. Um, original Men of War and Assault Squad, do I believe, do not have a mods folder. So if there is none there, you can create one. If there is one, then you don't have to make another one. So now uh, j you can go inside the mods folder. Um, now what you're going to do is create a new folder. So uh, now you can name it whatever you want. So let's call it Multiplayer Test. I'm going to call it that. Now, um, this mods folder is showing, this is, all these folders are all mods I've downloaded from the Steam Workshop. So yeah, I have a decent amount of mods here. Um, so if you're wondering if you want to know how to install mods uh, manually, uh, if you download something from the internet, you can simply just take the folder and drag it into this file location. That way is once you load it up in the main game, you can activate it straight from there and start using it. So that's how you install mods. Um, so, anyways, uh, once you give your mod a name, you're going to open it, 
And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off what I like to call the three necessities. Something that you will always need for pretty much any mod in Men of War. And uh, what I like to do is uh, hit new folder twice. So you're going to need two no folders. And then you're going to need to right click, hit go to new, and then text document. Um, this one is not really required, but it, it's a great way if you want to make it a little bit more... Um, organized so let's uh, skip the two folders for now and let's go straight into the document so we can finish this one off first off so open up the text document and uh, first off you're gonna start off with um, I wouldn't say this is scripting or programming but it's, you know just follow on what you have to type because this is um, the description of the mod so um, first what you're gonna do is type in open bracket and close bracket Inside those brackets, you're going to, you know, get some room. Uh, and right after that, you're going to type in um, mod. So it indicates it's a mod. Next, you're going to, uh, inside these brackets, you're going to create two more brackets. Inside these brackets, you're going to put name. And this will be the name of the file, of the mod itself. So um, after, leave a space and then do two quotation marks. Inside the quotation marks, you're going to want to put the name of the folder, what you call the mod. So in my case, it was multiplayer test. So you make sure you got to call it the exact same way you named the folder. Uh, you named your folder right before we entered this um, mod folder that we created. Um, next, what you're going to do is on the next few lines, create open and close brackets inside of this you're gonna put DESC which is short for description and this uh, again put in those space two more quotation marks inside the quotation marks you could put anything you want in here this is gonna indicate um, what the mod is about so you could put anything you want uh, put credits you know or put what the mods about usually but like for example we're just gonna put this is our first uh, multiplayer mod. All right, so and period. You can write it as long or as short as you want it. Uh, you know, it's just to indicate what uh, what the mod's about. So when you're done, well, we're all done in terms of here. So we can get out of this. So all you have to do is just go to File, go to Save As. Now um, it'll be highlighted for you for the file name. So what you're gonna type down there is you're gonna put mod dot info so you're gonna put that's the name of the file which is mod and then the dot info is it's saving it as an info text file so when you hit save you're gonna notice when I exit out of this you'll notice that there's um, the new text document txt you can simply get rid of that because we don't need it anymore and you have the mod dot info and you'll notice it changed to an info file with a new um, icon so if I open this, it'll be the exact same thing, but it's now registered as an info file instead. Okay, now let's um, go back to those two new folders that we've created earlier. All right, so let's, um, let's rename the first folder and the renaming the first folder to localization. Um, make sure you spell it right because when, in terms of modding, um, a lot of things have to be spelled correctly. There's a lot of things that depend on things being spelled correctly. If they are not, then more than likely if you try the mod out, it will not work or it will give you an error. So make sure you spell things correctly. So localization uh, has to be spelled correctly. Uh, the second folder, you're going to want to create this one, uh, rename it to resource. Again, following the same principle as the first one, it has to be spelled correctly. And follow the same suit as no spaces and no caps or anything like that. So um, let's start off with the resource res nah, resource folder. So let's jump into that. So let's jump into the resource folder. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder. And this one's going to be called map. All right. All you're going to do is just simply call it map. Once you do that, you're going to simply go inside that folder and you're going to make a new folder. This one's going to be called multi. Uh, again, that's all you have to do for this one. Go inside this folder and now we create, we put in our map itself. So um, the reason why we have to do this is because it's it looks for the file directory of saying it's a map and it's under multiplayer. So and then 
this list right here, since it's empty, but when we add it, this is where the multiplayer maps that are going to be added into the mod itself. So we have currently no map here, so we have to go find it. So I already made a map for the, uh, before I recorded this video, so I made it. So I'm going to go back to the main Men of War Soul Squad 2 uh, directory. And, um, oh wait, hold on one second. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go to the main directory of where uh, everything's located. I'm going to go to resource. All right, and then I'm going to go to map. And then, as you can see, my map right here, multiplayer map, is located here. So all I'm going to simply do is just copy and then go back to my mod and place it into that multi folder. So I'll place it into here, and there we go. If I click on the multiplayer map, I have a very bare bones map. There's no textures or anything on it. It's just literally um, spawn points and like an environment, and then that's it. But I also named it as a combat.mi. If you do not know how to set up multiplayer maps, I suggest you do watch my bef uh, my video, a couple videos before this that shows you how to set up your multiplayer maps for combat and how to set up spawn points. So if you have not seen that, I suggest you go watch that. The link will be in the description if you need to. Um, so yeah, in order to make a map playable, you need to correctly name it for the game type you're suggesting it for. So in this case, we're only going to make it for combat. So we're all set in terms of that. So we can get out of um, resource. We're completely done with resource. We have located and placed in our new map. So finally, all we need left is our localization. So again, we need to go back to the main file location for Men of War Soul Squad 2. And yet we need to go to another file location inside the main folder. And this one's going to be called localization.pack. So what you're going to want to do is simply open up this file. And it's going to be opened up with WinRAR or any, um, uh, you know, RAR opening file program that you have. And you're looking for a specific file. And we're looking for this one right here that I've highlighted, the mission.lng. So you want to highlight this one and copy it and paste it. So I'm going to copy and paste it to my desktop. So there it is uh, at the bottom left. So uh, all we got to do is just copy it and paste it. We're going to go back to the mods. Go back into the mod you created and go inside your localization folder. Now what you're going to do is you're going to simply drag that mission LNG file and move it into the mission into the localization folder. Now what we can do is we can open up the mission.lng. Now um, what this file is is it indicates all the multiplayer maps inside this folder, uh, inside this file right here. This is um, showing all the multiplayer maps that are available. Um, and they are indicated by um, by the game type that works for them, and it indicates by the size and how many players are available for each one. And you'll notice how some of them are also like um, this 4v4, 5v5, and then 1v1, 2v2. They're like a little bit mixed up, while these over here are like online. These are actually the DLC maps from the original Men of War Assault Squad 1. They never bothered to put them in order. As you can see, that's how kind of lazy they were. But... Um, that doesn't matter. So you can simply just keep all these here, or you can get rid of them if you want. But in my case, I'm just going to keep them here. All we're simply going to do now is we're just going to um, just put in the new map name that we have it. So as you can see, if I highlight, this right here is the map location name of the map that we're going to put into ours. Uh, so the 2v2 Urban Garden, for example, that's the na file location name for that folder that we made for our map. So, for example, I forgot the name of it specifically, so I have to go back to it. So I think it is... Um, so it's multiplayer map. So literally what I'm going to type in for in quotations right here is multiplayer underscore map. So uh, let's make it a new one. Um, yeah, so let's, what we're going to do is we're going to skip a couple lines. And all we're going to do is we're going to simply copy and paste one of these lines so we don't have to type everything out again. So it's uh, let's just replace what's inside. So inside the quotations, we're going to get rid of the 8v8 sands, and we're going to put in the map of our, multi of our folder. So in my case, it was called multiplayer underscore map. So now um, you can keep name the same. And where it says sands, 
this is the name that you want to pop up in the actual list when you're searching for a multiplayer match. So the maps that are looking, so let's just call this one test. Um, you can keep all this the same. This is just indicating um, color and stuff of the uh, for the list. And this right here is indicating how many players it can handle. So um, in my map, I only put in two spawn points, so it's a 1v1. So I'll put 1x1. All you have to do is save it. And there you go. Save it. And now we have all these maps plus the new one we just added in. So we can get out of this and we can minimize that. So let's um, now let's load it up. So open up the game and um, launch up the game and we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, to activate the mod, obviously go to options, go to mods, and then search for your map in the activated in the deactivated list. So in our case, it is multiplayer test. You notice what we put for our mod.info file? There it is. Mod, this is our first multiplayer mod. So if you click on it, double click on it, and where it says activate it, apply it. If it, when you apply it and it gives you an error or any kind of like any um, problem like that, then that means you did it wrong. So make sure if you do get an error, make sure you spell everything correctly and you save things in the right folder. So when you activate it, if it does not give you an error, then you're all set. So you can continue on. So you can get out of this and now we can go into our multiplayer. Uh, I'm going to go into LAN just for the sake of it so it can set up faster. Uh, LAN or multiplayer works the same, so it does not matter how you set it up. So in my case, obviously, I'm not going to be playing with other people. So I'm just going to be showing just for the sake of it. So I'm going to make a new game. And uh, remember, I made this for combat only, so this will only pair up in the combat list. And you'll see right at the very bottom, there's test 1x1. There's no picture, because we didn't add in the picture. We would have to add that in, but that's something for another tutorial eventually. Um, we don't need any password or info, so we can just simply create it. Um, you know, and I'll just, uh, let's say I'll just pick the Soviet Union, I'll just join that team. I'm not gonna, uh, yeah, I'll do all, custom, I'll just set up random, uh, you know, uh, stuff here. So, so, you know, we can spawn a lot of stuff so I can show you. And so, 120 minutes, and alright, there we go. So, we're gonna hit play. And now we just wait until it loads up. So if once it loads, if you are in your match and you see your map, then you know you did it right. If again, once it, if it loads up right at the end and it gives you an error, then you know you did something wrong. More than likely with the map itself, with the naming conventions or how you set up the waypoints. I'm sorry, spawn points. So make sure everything is set up correctly. Remember, um, I suggest if you haven't sworn uh, seen uh, my spawn points in combat multiplayer setup, I suggest you go watch that. So there you go. Um, this is my map. Very, very bare bones. I literally just created a new map, didn't put any textures or anything. The only thing I did was just give it a sky. Uh, I didn't even bother with the, the borders, and I just put in the spawn point. But now, if we uh, spawn in some units, it'll spawn at the spawn point I put in the map. And there you go, and then we could play it like normal. Uh, I have no mini map because I didn't bother setting up a mini map. But if you did put in the mini map, it would uh, be shown here. Da, so uh, there you go. We did not script it, so any music is playing. We didn't do anything like that. But that's all up to you to do that yourself. So there you go. It's really pretty self-explanatory. All that's here for you, and it works perfectly fine. If I had chose the other team, I would spawn on uh, roughly around here where my mouse is, because that's where I put the other spawn. So, um, if I chose Team B, I would be over there. But since I chose Team A, I spawned over here. And that's really about it. Um, so, overall, that's really about it for this tutorial. Um, nothing much else to say. 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was uh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too long, but not too short either. So again, it's a little bit um, confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to create mods like this no problem. And if anything, if you want to create multiple maps, you don't have to make a mod every single time you make a new map. You can essentially essentially just put it into the same mod and then have all your custom multiplayer maps in one mod. So that in case, you can you and your friends can just download one single mod, activate it, and then there you go. You can play it. And that's really about it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you liked it, favored it, you know, all that stuff. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, you know where to place them down in the comment section below. Um, if you need to contact me in any certain way other besides YouTube itself, uh, all the stuff will be in the description down below. And, um, yeah, that's really about it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later.